Hello everyone, my name is Jonka Heiden, and today I'll be talking about our work entitled From Warm to Hot Lambdas, Leveraging Runtimes for the Serverless Era. This work is done in collaboration with Sumer Colley from UC Berkeley, Rodrigo Bruno from Technical Lisbon, and Pedro Fonseca from Purdue University. Serverless computing is a fast growing cloud computing model based on the evocation of stateless fine grained functions. The serverless model is really attractive for developers and it has been used for a wide set of applications, spanning areas such as code compilation, machine learning, data analytics, and even video processing. Serverless leverages high level languages such as Java or JavaScript to raise the level of abstraction for developers. This is really important because it drastically simplifies aspects of development, such as software packaging, dependency management, that are typically very time consuming in the cloud. By using high level languages and modern language runtimes, developers can get both the ease of development and high performance. To provide good performance, language runtimes today leverage JIT compilation. To measure the, the benefits of JIT compilation in the performance of serverless workloads, we executed a Java word count application on AWS Lambda, AWS's serverless platform. In this experiment, we ran a sequence of consecutive function requests in the x-axis, and for each request, we measured the computation end-to-end uh, end -end time from within the Lambda in the y-axis. We also categorized each request as a cold, warm, or hot request. In the first request, the serverless provider has to initialize the language runtime. This is typically the slowest invocation and we call this a cold start. Afterwards, once a runtime has been created and initialized, the serverless provider can reuse that runtime to avoid runtime initialization overheads. We call these warm starts. As the application runs, the Java runtime generates profiles and optim optimizes code. After a number of function requests, the application has been highly optimized optimized and it finally reaches steady state performance. We call these evocations hot starts. In our experiment, we find that the hotspot GVM is highly effective at improving the performance of this function. Compared to cold starts, the hot starts for this function take 55 times less completion time. We also find that the JVM requires roughly 30 iterations to fully profile and optimize this application's code. This suggests that frequently discarding the state of the JVM can have significant impact for the performance of serverless functions. Note that today, every single fresh runtime in a serverless platform has to go through this process of cold, warm, and hot invocations. Last, this result is not limited to Java or to word count. Other managed languages such as JavaScript or C-sharp are capable of similar performance improvements for this and other workloads. The significant performance improvements are only possible due to extensive work in language runtimes. Today's runtimes are complex and highly optimized for continuously profiling and optimizing code. For instance, code running in a hotspot JVM goes through different stages. Initially, applications are executed through bytecode interpretation, which is slow. And during bytecode interpretation, the JVM generates profiles that identify hot methods and compiles them down to machine code. As the application continues to run, the JVM continuously builds profiles and applies further optimizations. Code can also go through cycles of de-optimization and optimization. Language runtimes such as the hotspot JVM implement dozens of sophisticated compilation techniques, such as escape analysis, method virtualization, and method inlining to generate high-performance code. Now note that every single runtime in a serverless platform has to go through the steps of bytecode interpretation, code compilation, and code optimization. But it turns out that serverless developers today cannot fully capture the benefits of runtime code optimization. Today, developers have to choose between the simplicity and ease of development of serverless and the higher performance of VM-based platforms. We know that serverless is highly tailored for short, short functions with sporadic invocations. For instance, a recent paper from Microsoft Azure reports that Azure functions uh, platforms recycle serverless containers every 10 to 20 minutes. Even worse, our experiments indicate that in AWS Lambda, runtimes are recycled up to every five minutes. We estimate that the staggering two thirds of function invocations in Microsoft Azure are executed as cold starts. In this regime, modern runtimes are unable to generate profiles and optimize code. 
For instance, the hotspot JVM by default requires thousands of invocations of a function before it gets compiled to machine code, and no other similar threshold parameters exist for different optimizations. In this paper, we argue that to fully leverage the benefits of runtime optimizations, future serverless platforms need to aggregate and share the state of code compilation pipelines. Aggregation is needed to enable leveraging the code and execution statistics generated across the platform, potentially across thousands of lambdas, and sharing is needed to stop further execution of an optimized code. Now, in this example, I'm going to illustrate our, our system proposal that we call Ignite solves this problem. We start by showing what occurs today when there is no sharing of code or profiles. In the diagram, we show three containers represented by the three large rectangles. And within these containers, we are going to invoke serverless functions represented by small rectangles. Each function invocation is categorized as cold in blue, warm, yellow, and hot, red. Inside each non-optimized execution, the runtime maintains a code profile that includes the number of function invocations, FI. This profile controls when a function is selected for JIT compilation. For simplicity, in this example, we consider the threshold to be three. This means that the function is compiled after three invocations. After compilation, functions execute in optimized mode in REP. Alternatively, if code sharing is enabled, runtime profile code locally, but once a single runtime compiles the function code, this code is shared with other runtimes so, such that future invocations can benefit from it. And so in this case, we only have a single JIT, uh, JIT function event across all the runtimes. Last, if profile and code sharing are enabled, runtimes aggregate their profile information and each function invocation is accounted globally. Therefore, once a total invocation counter surpasses the threshold three, a single JIT compilation request is issued and the compiled code is shared across all runtimes. We estimated the total cost that can be expected with Ignite in a large deployment. We simulated a set of computationally intensive applications, word counting and test corpus, WC, number hashing, hash, and HTML rendering HTML. For this simulation, we used parameters specific to each application that we determined experimentally through benchmarks in AWS Lambda. These parameters include the request latencies for cold, warm, and hot starts, coupled with the number of function invocations necessary for the runtime to transition between cold to warm and warm to hot. Our experiment demonstrates improvements from 1.26x HTML up to 5.5x for the hashing workload in cost reduction compared to today's no sharing approach. Naturally, improvements with Ignite are, are higher for workloads for which the JIT compiler can significantly improve performance. For instance, in this case for the hashing function, the JIT compiler can provide a 15 time latency reduction. Now, the path towards fully realizing the benefits of JIT compilation for serverless has several interesting technical challenges. In the paper, we identify and discuss a number of these challenges due to time constraints. Here, I'm going to uh, present only two, but please uh, check the paper for a discussion of all the challenges. The first challenge has to do with coordination overhead. The Ignite design requires fine rate sharing across many functions and many runtimes, and this generates overhead. But delaying synchronization reduces the number of hot starts. This means that the Ignite design requires a careful balance between synchronization overhead and global application performance. The second challenge has to do with dealing with heterogeneous resources in the cloud. We know that compilers rely on machine-specific capabilities, such as AVX instructions. This means that in Ignite, runtimes need to carefully account for specific execution environment properties when sharing code across runtimes and machines. To conclude, in this paper, we identify the problem that today's serverless platforms are not designed to leverage modern language runtimes. We propose a system, Ignite, that aggregates and shares profiles, code, profiles and code across many runtimes to run functions hot most of the time. The Ignite design presents a number of interesting technical challenges, such as resource 
heterogeneity, security, and performance. We are in the process of building Ignite, and we are open to any feedback. And now I'll take any questions. Thank you very much.